Dino on the scene for the Rogers Review, the RogersReview.com, and that 96.7 FM WERA Radio Arlington. Back again with Short Leaf 39, and we have the wonderful, talented Mark Ben and David with us. How are you doing today? Hey, I'm good. How are you? I am doing well. I mean, you've been here all weekend at Short Leaf 39. How has it been so far? It has been amazing. It's a really welcoming uh, environment. Everyone's been super cool, super fun. The fans are awesome. Uh, we're having a lot of fun. Excellent. So is this your first time at a Baltimore sci-fi convention? It's my first time at a sci-fi convention, and it's my first time in Baltimore. It's a lot of firsts this weekend, yeah. Get out of here! Yeah, I've never. This is my first one, yeah. That is amazing! And I'm glad, I'm glad to hear that has been good so far. you got to come back to Baltimore. Yeah, I, you know, we've been so busy here that I haven't had a chance to get into the city proper, but I was taken for some Maryland crab cakes on the first night that we were here. I'm about to say, if you didn't have Maryland crab cakes and this is your first time in Maryland, shame on you. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 I made it happen, or someone made it happen, yeah. Awesome. So, Dark Matter, you played the role of one. How did you get into the role of one? Uh, what do you mean get into it? Like how did I prepare for it or how did I get the job in the first place? How did you get the job? How did you audition? How did you prep for it? All my, of the above. Yeah, my agent sent me the audition material and uh, I t taped an audition in my living room with my roommate uh, because uh, I was out of town at the time um, and we, she was there and we did it and we sent it away. And I didn't hear anything for a few weeks, so I just assumed it wasn't happening. And then all of a sudden, I got a call from from my agent saying that the producers wanted to meet me. And and then I did a call back and and got it after that. What has been the most exciting thing about the role so far? Uh, the most exciting thing is probably working with really awesome directors who are irreverent and fun and crazy, like. Amanda Tapping and Paolo Barsman, who's doing a lot of Winona Earp right now, and John Stead and TJ Scott and Andy Makita. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's amazing. And you have two of your castmates here. You have Mike over here on our left, and you have Joe Dell on our right house, Phil, be working with them. I love I love these guys. We we have a great time when we're on set together, and we have a great time at the cons. Oh, look, a uh, um, uh, uh, sci-fi yes. queen. Amazing. Yes, definitely the sci-fi queen. <laughs> so how has been the overall aspect of the fan treatment at this convention? As you mentioned, this is your... It's amazing. It's great. We've been treated like royalty. It's so awesome. I love your outfit. Please. <laughs> um, it's been great. I can't complain. I, I, it's, I, I feel really lucky, actually. Excellent. So what can fans look forward to since I know the season three finale hasn't happened yet, hasn't there, but what can fans look forward to? Uh, uh, they can look forward to more great episodes full of suspense. Um, yeah, I don't want to give too much away, but the show has a loyal following for a good reason, and I think season three will, will show that. Wonderful. So were you a fan of sci-fi before taking on a sci-fi role? You know what? I, I had... I'd seen a bunch of episodes of Star Trek and I'd seen all the Star Wars movies and loved them, but I wasn't really embedded in the sci-fi scene as much as some of my co-stars, so it was exciting to get to know that stuff because it, it was a lot of it was new to me. Like I'd never been on a show with, you know, any kind of like warp drive or FTL or you know, ships and yeah, stuff. Or yeah. Phasers or photon yeah. torpedoes or lifesavers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. One last question. What would you like to say to the fans out there who are listening to our station or re watching us on YouTube? Uh, thank you for the for the support. It's it's amazing. Like meeting fans like this sort of reminds you after you're stuck on set for months and months why you do it and 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 how much of a effect you can have to, on people's lives. And it's been it's been great to be reminded of that here. So thank you.